నమస్తే ఐఎమ్ కృష్ణ చైతన్య మండేలా యువర్ ఈవీ బ్రో రైట్ నో ఐఎమ్ ఇన్ హైదరాబాద్ టు బి స్పెసిఫిక్ చర్లపల్లి అట్ ది ఈవీ ఛార్జింగ్ స్టేషన్ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చరింగ్ ప్లాంట్ ఆఫ్ ఈవీ చార్జ్మెన్ అండ్ దిస్ కంపెనీ ఈస్ మేకింగ్ ఛార్జింగ్ స్టేషన్స్ స్టార్టింగ్ విత్ ద ప్రైస్ రేంజ్ ఆఫ్ టెన్ థౌసండ్ రూపీస్ అండ్ గోస్ అప్ టు ఎయిటీన్ ల్యాక్ రూపీస్ దే ఆర్ ఆఫరింగ్ ఎయిట్ ఏసీ ఛార్జెస్ టు డీసీ ఛార్జెస్ ఏ ఆర్ దే ఆర్ ఆఫరింగ్ ఛార్జింగ్ స్టేషన్స్ ఫర్ టూ వీలర్స్ టు ఈవెన్ ఎలక్ట్రిక్ బస్సెస్ ఎస్ వెల్ లెట్స్ ఎక్స్ప్లోర్ వాట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఛార్జింగ్ బిజినెస్ దే ఆర్ ఆఫరింగ్ అండ్ దే ఆర్ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చరింగ్ ప్లాంట్ ఇన్ చర్లపల్లి రైట్ నో సో వన్ ఆఫ్ ది ఎక్సైటింగ్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ అబౌట్ ఈవీ ఛార్జ్మెన్ they are not only offering a charging stations for electric cars or electric for two wheelers they are having a unique model they are offering advertising concept for example the active income comes from the charging station business but they are offering a passive business where there is a display over there customers can uh, they, they can pay money and they add the advertisements for that particular screen so they can earn up to some amount of money per, per every month in addition to the charging station business Th- this is what somewhat unique point for the ev chargemen uh, let, let's go and talk with the cto of uh, ev chargemen c- company so hi mr vinith hi good to see you hi uh, so welcome to our factory yeah so uh, this is our manufacturing unit situated in charlapalli hyderabad it's right behind ecil mm. and uh, as you can see we have a wide range of products in here uh, we manufacture everything from uh, a 3.3 kilowatt charging station to a uh, mm. uh, 22 kilowatt charging station in ac and uh, a 30 kilowatt uh, charging station in dc mm. to up to 240 kilowatts mm. everything happens here and around this place so when did started the company so it's been 3 years that we have started this company mm. previously when we started off young we were in a small flat mm. we were uh, doing everything on, in a small scale and uh, uh, pushing everything to a third party vendor we used to get everything from mm. a third party vendor but mm. now we have bought many things under one roof mm. Uh, we have our own r&d lab mm. we have our own assembly line okay. we keep inventory we have stock mm. uh, pretty much so uh, so you uh, earlier you are bootstrap yeah yeah we are bootstrap mm. yeah so is this is our r&d yeah this is our r&d lab mm. so here what we do is like we have uh, pcb boards mm. so what we do is like uh, there are small small parts uh which will be soldered onto the boards mm. there are two kinds of parts which are smd and uh, some some kind of parts called uh, surface mount so this is a board that uh, out of our ch- charging station there are many parts like this uh, there are smaller parts and bigger parts as well these small parts are uh, mounted by a robotic machine which is uh, around this we have vendors for that mm. and uh, later on we have bigger parts which can be mounted by hand we hire people uh, according to our order and they will place all this and solder so all these parts you are sourced from here or uh, uh, you are making the, these parts these parts are been sourced from in and around india mm. uh, uh, we have sourced in from uh, delhi in a local market in hyderabad mm. and a few parts we get it from usa taiwan and china as well mm. apart from just an rni lab we also service the boards that we give under warranty okay if, okay. if there are any boards that are been to be serviced mm. uh, we get them back here so whenever uh, the boards uh, come for service under warranty or some kind of parts are uh, what do you say are under wear and tear we just get them replaced for example this is a connector used in the board mm. uh, well as you can see these are all our parts these are small capacitors and all this can be like soldered onto the board using these this is a solder machine we use it uh, for mounting our parts so not just selling the charges but sell. also offer the service under the warranty that's exactly right. exactly okay. we also s- provide that kind of service to our customers so okay. we give one year of uh, warranty under which we have a piece to piece replacement where if something goes wrong in the charging station we just replace the whole charging station this is one of our ac charging station so this connector as we had seen earlier is called a type 2 connector Uh, this can charge any four wheeler it can be attached uh, to any place here you can let's go to the wall or you have a stand right out of your uh, what you say small shop or your business wherever you are running this setup would cost you around uh, 75000 and there you go you can generate 
revenue just by investing something less than very 1 lakh what is the ch- capacity of the charger so this is a 7.2 kilowatt charging station so this is our a 3.3 kilowatt charging station so in this you can charge a two wheeler and a three wheeler as well depending upon the battery capacity for the charging time varies from 2 uh, hours to 2 and a half 3 depending upon the battery size so this is an outdoor unit uh, it is of an ip 65 enclosure mm. so if you, even if you place it outside you don't have to worry about uh, the weather condition while charging mm. so coming price uh the price would uh, be at 10000 10000 rupees per unit mm. so this is a 22 kilowatt charging station uh this is a concept idea that we came uh, came up with uh as you can see you, you can run two ads in this and a scrolling ad so this ad can also provide a passive revenue for the uh, owner who's running the fa- whole franchise setup so it has two guns uh namely it's a it's called a ccs2 connector so it has two guns and can charge two vehicles at a time to operate this uh, it's a very simple operation you just have to use our app you have to load your wallet then you have to open the scanner and you can just scan the qr code and all the details of the charging station will be displayed uh in the app so you can select the time as well if you want to leave in 20 minutes or so if you want to skip the duration and charge till whenever you come down to the vehicle you select that and hit start charge so you connect the connector to the vehicle and you'll get a confirmation in the in the app saying that it it is charging unit of electricity will be consumed for that much amount you will be charged nothing more and nothing less what is the cost of this charging well uh, this charging station stand alone will cost you around 2 and a half to 2 and a half lakh whole whole of franchisee model we offer one of this and two of the small units mm. and apart from that we do all uh, we also provide a flooring painting branding and a canopy if you are putting the setup outside mm. uh, unlike uh, parking space like this all the above that i just said will be included in the franchise package franchisee model how much cost a uh, franchise model would cost you 10 lakhs okay yeah so this is our uh, 11/7.2 kilowatt charging station this is an outdoor unit this can be placed outside as you can see it's like uh, made like a telephone booth uh, which can be placed outside and in, inside you have a single gun charging station here well that was a plastic based product now this is like full metal and metal charging station comes with a single gun this can be a 7.2 and a 11 as well so this would cost around somewhere between 1 uh, 1 lakh 1.2 lakh uh, this is a 11 kilowatt charging station comes with a dual gun mm. so it has two guns and can charge two cars at a time mm. this is an outdoor unit again can be placed outside we have uh, glands place for uh, water protection and uh, this can be like uh placed on a slab on a flat ground as well so this charging station would cost around somewhere around 1.5 lakh this is our uh, dc product uh, apart from ac we also manufacture dc charging stations but we manufacture dc charging station on order cuz the parts are really expensive and we putting them in inventory would uh, take up a lot of budget to have them in our uh, factory mm. so in dc as you can see the wires are really thick Mm. and this can this is a 240 kilowatt charging station mm. which can lit- charge a bus mm. an electra bus or a jbm bus which as which you see on the roads so this connector is called a ccs2 connector mm. so which is uh, specific specific for our uh, in india this charging station would uh, cost somewhere around uh, 18 lakhs 18 lakhs and above if you include wiring as well it can go up to 20 22 lakhs as well so mr vinith for example if a person purchases a charging station mm-hmm. he always look for service as well mm-hmm. how would you going to offer service to the charging station uh, well while building this company we had this in mind that apart from not just uh, providing a ch- selling a charging station we should also be providing a very good service so we have something called black box technology uh, it is a technology that we have uh, developed so it is pro- it is standard in every system of our uh, 
charging station mm. so what it does is it takes the input from the charging station mm. and the design is so modular that if something goes wrong in some module say communication module or some power module or some kind of uh, uh, what you say contactor which provides uh, raw power to via the gun mm. so if something goes wrong that black box technology informs us way before then actually it happens even before the customer knows something wrong with the uh, charging station mm. we happen to know in it in our central management system see so and so charging station uh, so and so part is not working properly so mm. what we do is we uh, call up the our customer and tend to say that something is not wrong uh, something is wrong with your charging station so we send our service person uh, to take care of the charging station if it's a software related issue we deal it from our uh, say cms only or if not physically someone will be sent and they will handle the you have we have a dedicated team for that Okay. Yes. So, Mr. Vinit uh, clearly explained about the manufacturing plant of uh, EV chargement. They are offering AC charges and DC charges, and they have a spe special thing called black box technology, where it will identify if, in case any go any problem may occur. In earlier itself, it will give an instruction that this is a kind of a service problem. It might occur. The whatever the service problems can be reduced in that by using that particular technology. That is what exp explained by him. So, overall, their charging station prices starting from the range of 10,000 rupees and goes up to 18 lakh rupees. If you are planning to buy EV chargement charging stations, we will provide the contact details in the screen and the description below.